Hello, I'm Bruce Wards. How are you all doing today? It's snowing here. It's raining. <laughs> I can't wait till it's over. But you know what? It will stop at one point. Why are we seeing a purplish hue over top of the pictures that I am taking where there is greenery? Around uh, um, Archimedes crater, Aristillus crater is top right of Aristarchus. The, all these craters are plunged into a very thick, green, clumpy surface. What could the surface be? It could be structures, it could be vegetation overgrown over the structures, but the beautiful proof is right there. These are natural colors on the surface. There's no manipulation. There's no need, and trust me, I would not sit here and add green on the surface. Are you kidding? I don't want people coming down to, uh, to my house trying to kill me for having tried to manipulate an entire 7 billion people on the face of the earth and make them believe that there's colors on the moon. There really is. I'm not putting the colors up there, and I'm not in this to try to convince you guys that the moon's inhabited because I want to get fame. I want to convince you guys that the moon's inhabited so that you guys can jump on this too and that more people can do this. This is what the future should be. Everyone, we're gonna to have to get telescopes. Like, I mean, I'm jumping the gun. Why? Because I know the bloody moon is inhabited. That is confirmed in my head. I'm allowed my beliefs. I know it's inhabited. It's. It could be another species. I don't care, it could be uh, made with recycled bottles or hockey pucks and sticks. I really don't care about that. What I care about is what was not told as a truth. On celestial objects, uh, by chance, you could possibly find another type of species or creature floating around in space. This is not what I was expecting before I went and got my telescope. But having gone to get my telescope with a 4-inch telescope, I saw so much. And with this beautiful 14, hmm, the tests, guys, the solar imager. Haven't tried it yet, but when I do try that solar imager, I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's going to be damn close. We never see big telescopes zooming up close on the surface of the moon. We see big telescopes that show their setups, and it remains there, and it stops. Were these people confronted by the government not to expose what is up there. I don't know, because I went and got my tele telescope, thanks to this community, and I've not been warned about anything yet. I will get much clearer nights, and obviously this was a small noon between clearings that I got, but I want you guys to check out the color on the surface behind Plato Crater. Somebody asked me to zoom in and to show the colors on the surface without just adding them. I mean, you guys are asking a lot because honestly, um, I have to process these photos and enhance them so that the color does come out. But nonetheless, the color is there. We can see it. And now we're going to go look. Um, I don't need any pointers up. It's just behind Plato Crater. This is Plato Crater, that round object you're seeing. The white lights, the dome-like objects behind it, watch the surface. I'll get a pointer up. Right here, we're going to see some color appear. Guys, I want you all to know, the ones that come here and that subscribed, you know, the ones that are interested, I really appreciate it. And I really want everyone in the world to know the truth. Um, I think it's my right to be able to show people my findings. These are my findings. No matter who it's overthrowing or surpassing, I don't, I don't care. This is something that when I found out, understand me that I was incapable, and I still am, of keeping it inside, of knowing that I've seen a building on the surface of the moon, guys. It's the most beautiful finding anyone will ever find. <laughs>
Thank you.